captain today, the England captain, the successful England captain, capping his side to a 3-1 victory. Andrew Strauss. I thought the smile would be even bigger. It was big in Melbourne, though, and this is just the icing on the cake, I suppose. Yeah, it is very much so. I mean, we came over here desperately wanting to win the series, and obviously we, in Melbourne, we retained the ashes, but we really wanted to finish with a bang here in Sydney, and all credit to the guys. They've been outstanding again. Uh, the way the ball was bowled on day one, uh, the batsmen uh, did their bread in it again, and, and we got another uh, victory. So we're, we're delighted with what we've done, and um, we're certainly going to enjoy this evening, that is for sure. Alistair Cook's been terrific, just spoke to him, 766 runs. James Anderson's also been terrific with the ball, but you've had contributions from a lot of players, all 11 players in this team. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, Alistair has been outstanding, and, and to, you know, when you're talking about the likes of Wally Hammond and people like that, he's, he's really had an amazing series. Um, Jimmy Anderson in, in tough conditions has been outstanding as well, but uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, it, you can't really pick one or two players out of the team because everyone's delivered at different times and that generally is a recipe for success. It's what we knew we needed to do at the start of the tour and, and all credit to the players they've stood up and delivered. And you've had those players, I think we mentioned in Melbourne, like Bresnan's come into the side, Trevor's come into the side and just haven't held up the spot. They've really contributed for you. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, you need strength and depth on a tour like this and those guys have really put their hands up and um, that's been an outstanding tour so far. Um, uh, you, the guys can be very, very proud of what they've achieved, not just the players, but the but the backroom staff as well. Um, also the players that haven't played on this tour, they, they've done a really good job off the pitch. Um, and it's been, yeah, it's been a happy tour and, and one we're certainly going to uh, definitely enjoy. A quick question on Paul Collingwood. Uh, he's retired from Test Match Cricket today. Um, it, he'll be a loss for the side because he looks like he's a live wire for you in the field. Yeah, a massive loss. I mean, it's certainly a tinge of sadness there for us. Not just Paul Collingwood, but uh, Kurt Russell as well. Physio, he's leaving off for this, uh, this Test Match. But Collie's been one of the great servants of the game, there's no doubt about it. You can't, you can't measure what he does to the side. A lot of the things he does is away from the cameras when people aren't watching. And um, you know, he kind of epitomises what this team's all about, and he'd be sorely missed. Um, if you don't mind, I just wanted to take this opportunity to firstly thank our supporters. They've been outstanding with yeah. um, all the support we've had over all five test matches. And it's, a lot of the time it's felt like a home game. Um, the other people I'd just like to mention very briefly, uh, probably our greatest supporters, our families, our wives, our kids, our parents, who have to sort of live with it day in, day out, um, and uh, they deserve it every, much as, every bit as much as we do. Mate, a terrific series for you, for England. 3-1 victors. I see your side has now taken place on the podium. Go and grab that trophy off Michael Vaughan. It's well deserved. Ladies and gentlemen, England captain, Andrew Stratz. Thank you. Oh, okay now. Great scenes for Andrew Strauss and for his team. We talked about that Compton and Miller medal. Uh, I think we can safely assume that uh, it went to Alistair Cook, who was chosen as man of the series, and we will establish uh, in just a moment that I'm sure that means he's won that Compton Miller medal. There's a replica of the, the little urn. They also get that glass crystal. And uh, uh, Andrew Strauss, a mighty proud man. I, I think that came over strongly in the interview, very aware of all the people around him and how so many people contribute to uh, his win. Like this, Mark Taylor is now with me and can answer some questions rather than rather than ask them. But it, it, even though it's the captain's ship, uh, these days are all the people sitting over now. Yeah, there's a good, a good culture in that side. You mentioned the families, the wives, the girlfriends, the partners. You mentioned uh, the support staff, how they've all played a part. You mentioned people like Paul Conley. He didn't have a great series personally, but what he does behind the scenes. If, if you've got a happy ship, you can play at your best. And that's what England have done. They have certainly played at their best. And I think they're getting better all the time. And uh, one question I've probably never got around to asking you is, can they be the number one side in all the Because I think they certainly have the personnel to go to that level. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I, it's, 
it's difficult these days. It, it does seem as if more teams win at home, or, or at least I thought that, but I've just seen India draw in South Africa, I've just seen England win in Australia, and, and, and 